Hello everybody, and today we are going to convert a Cisco uh, 1142 access point from lightweight to autonomous mode. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our terminal. Um, I like to have a console cable connected. You don't have to, but I do. So first things first, let's get our USB to serial port alive here. Uh, all the defaults, 9600, 8N1, you know the jazz. Uh, the second thing I need to do is get my computer over onto the little network that we're going to be using. Okay, so now then, the second thing you need to do is now we're going to do some IP setup. I like to go to control panel. On days that Windows will work with me. How many of you guys really like Windows? Because I sure don't. I don't like Mac either. Alright, so now we're going to go to our networking sharing center. Ignore all the noise in the background, they're being very noisy. Um, now what you need is you need, our computer, you need your TFTP server to be within the range of 10.0.0.10.0.0.2 to 10.0.0.30. Uh, uh, Subnet mask really doesn't matter, but I like to do 255, 255, 255, and that's good. So the last thing I actually do is I'll go um, to the Windows firewall, and you need to turn your firewall off. No more firewall. Okay. So now then, you got a file here from like your Cisco image. What you need to do is you need to rename your file. In this case, I want C1140K9W7TAR-DEFAULT. This is my autonomous image. And then what we need to do now is we need to take this file and we need to place it in our TFTP root and go ahead and kick off our TFTP server. Yes, this command out. Look for this to say. Now, now we're gonna focus on this access point. We'll see if I can get everything here in a way that you can view it all. That should be good. Okay, on your access point, there's a button here. Let me get my view up so you can see the camera. There is a button here. Let me minimize OBS. Come on, work with me today. We're going to hold down the mode button while we connect the power. Now you'll start to see on the screen here, so my finger's on the mode button. I've not let off this mode button yet. In just a second, we'll see a message on the screen that says the mode button is pressed. Okay, so I did get this to work. You have to basically mash the mode button. Let's see if it'll work on camera. Never likes to work on camera. My finger is down on that mode button. I'm looking at the WAP because usually you'll get a red light on your WAP if it detects that you're holding down that mode button. There it is. Okay. So in just a second, I should see a message on the screen. Button is pressed. Wait for button to be released. We'll let go of the button. And there it goes. There you have it. We are now we are now converted. Let's enable default password is Cisco with a capital C. 
Let's, uh, show the end brief. Just so we can see that everything's up. And just so I can show you guys that this is, I'm actually going to go ahead and go con. Uh, and be VI1 IP address 10 20 Just to show you guys that this is running in autonomous mode now, we're not going to. There you have it. We're now running in um, autonomous mode on our access point. You can see my radios are down. Uh, we'll go through configuring this thing up later in, in autonomous. But this is just the first video of how to configure the WAP. So thank you guys for watching and feel free to leave comments if you have one.